Hello, I'm Dr. Mangla Devi. I'm the clinical director at Smile Baby IVF. I'm qualified from NUHS Singapore. IVF is a treatment procedure in which the sperm and the egg are placed in a culture droplet in a petri dish and fertilized in vitro. So this is known as in vitro fertilization. In 75% of the cases, most of the eggs are fertilized by the sperm. However, in some cases there could be conditions where the eggs either fail to get partialized completely or partially by the sperm. The reasons could be varied. It may be one, the egg may be immature or post-mature at the time of IVF. Or sometimes the egg may fail to get activated. This is known as oocyte activation failure. In some cases, the sperm itself may not undergo decondensation. That is, the sperm may not be able to activate the egg. So all these factors may lead to a loss of signaling between the egg and the sperm because of which the IVF may lead to fertilized embryos. So what do we do in these cases? Is there no hope for such people? Well, there is hope. So the, there are a lot of things that we can do. So when IVF fails, we can look at ICSI or ICSI, which is intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where a single sperm is injected into the egg to enable fertilization to occur. So this is one of the easier treatments that are available when IVF fails. And the success rates are pretty much high as compared to IVF. In some cases, we can also look at laser assisted hatching wherein a thick zona pellucida of the egg is uh, hatched with the help of laser rays and this can cause the sperm to penetrate the egg more easily and fertilize it. Then what else can we do apart from this? Apart from this, we can also change the stimulation protocol, maybe alter the amount of drugs or the range of drugs, the type of drugs so that we can increase the number of eggs, healthy eggs that we get. In addition, if all else fails, then we can also look at donor eggs or donor embryos.